everyone, last week I put up a video announcing the readathon that I have been a part of creating, and it is the 12 Reads of Christmas. I will put it up here, um, and you can click on that if you want to see my announcement video. Today I'm just going to be showing you my TBR. This is subject to change, but these are pretty much the books that I am going to be reading in December for the 12 Reads of Christmas. The first challenge is read a book with red and green on the cover and the book that I've chosen is Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West by Gregory Maguire. I did read this book in high school but I never finished the series and it's, um, I graduated high school five years ago so I've pretty much forgotten um, what's happened but I'd like to pick it back up again and it's got green and it's got red um, so I thought and it why not? And it's a reread, so it shouldn't take me too long because I've already read it all before. The second challenge is read a book set during Christmas or a Christmas classic. For this one, I've chosen A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens because it is the obvious choice. And I've never actually read it, so I thought it's short, it's classic. I'll pick it up. Challenge three is read a book with white, gold, or snow on the cover. For this, I've chosen The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton because it's got gold on it. Challenge four is read a book set in winter. For this one, I'm going to be rereading Wintertown by Stephen Eamon. I read this one a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago and I did really enjoy it. And it's like got pictures. Oh, look at that. I opened it up to the page straight away. Um, it's sort of like a half like illustrated. Um, I did, I really enjoyed this book when I first read it and I thought, like like with Wicked, it's a reread so it shouldn't take me too long and I know that I'll enjoy it. So. Challenge five is read a book that you recently got as a Christmas present or a book that was recommended to you by a friend. I didn't get any books for Christmas last year um, so I'm going with a book recommended to me by a friend. And that book is Every Day by David Levithan. Um, this book was recommended to me by my best friend and my best friend's sister. Um, and I haven't read it yet, so I thought this would be a perfect one for the challenge. Challenge number six is read an author that you've never read before. For this one, I'm going with Never Always Sometimes by Addie Orsad. Uh, obviously, I haven't read any of um, Addie Orsad's book before. Um, and do you mind? Obviously, I've never read any of Eddie Olsen's books before, and this one seems like it's a fun read, so why not? Challenge number six is read a children's book set in, set at Christmas, and for this one I've picked A Pirate's Night Before Christmas by Philip Yates and illustrated by Sebastian Sarah. Sebastian Sarah, sorry. Um, and it's The Night Before Christmas retold with pirates. The words are changed. It should be a lot of fun and it's not that thick so it shouldn't take me too long. Challenge 8 is read a book that has been on your TBR since last Christmas. For those of you who know me, most of the books that I own I have had since before last Christmas. So it wasn't hard to pick one, I just, you know, I decided on Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, mostly because it's short and it's apparently very good and doesn't look too difficult to smash out so I, yeah I've picked this. Challenge number nine was read a summer or holiday romance. Um, for this one I've gone with Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is a summer romance set in Los Angeles. So yeah I'm not sure why I'm explaining my choices to you because it's kind of obvious set in summer. Summer room. Challenge number 10 is read a book with a different cultural or religious aspect to your own. I'm tossing up on this one. I can't decide between A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston and I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. Um, both of them are obviously different cultures. This one is a fantasy novel and this one is a memoir. So I'm leaning towards this one, but like I'm really, I'm not sure at this point. I'll probably just have to smash it out at the end of December and I'll just pick one then. So, either of these two for that challenge. I'm not sure yet. Challenge 11 is read a book with the word snow, red, white, Christmas, 
or green in the title and for that one I have gone with The Snow Child by Awen Ivy. This is also a book that's been on my TBR for a while so if I run out of time I'll probably get rid of um, Nika Norris. This uh, is set in the 1920s in Alaska um, and yeah I thought I was gonna pick this one for snow but it doesn't really have any snow on the cover except for so like so I thought I would pick it for this challenge and the 12th challenge for the 12 Reads of Christmas is to donate a book or books to your local charity or secondhand bookstore and if you can buy one in return I do have a massive box of books it's this size and overflowing um, full of books that I no longer need or no longer have any interest in reading and I was gonna lug it upstairs but one I can't find it because it's mixed in with all the stuff from my brother's bedrooms and two it's really heavy and I didn't want to bring it all the way up the stairs but there is a lot of books in there and I will be taking them down to my local Good Sammy's and my earliest available opportunity and I will try and buy a book there. I did have a look at the book selection um, when I recently went, went down there and they're all kind of ones I didn't really have an interest in reading but I will see what I can find this time. If you would like to join in on the 12 Reads of Christmas by all means feel free. I will leave the link to the Goodreads group down below and I will list all the challenges as well. I'll still be here but um, have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you next time. Bye!